Hi, my name is Rich Halfpenny. I'm a lecturer of biological sciences here at Staffordshire University. And I've been asked to write a piece for theconversation.com. This is all about um, the differential preference that mosquitoes have to some people and the way they may bite those more than they bite others. And the piece is about why this is the case. Now, if you're like me and you're very lucky, you don't tend to get bitten too much if you're with other people. Other people tend to get bitten more than I do, and so I tend to get an easy ride, which is nice for me, not so nice for other people. Some of the reasons that people suggest that this is about are, are, tend to be old wives' tales, so, um, and there may be suggestions that you can avoid getting bitten by eating spicy foods or eating a lot of garlic, um, eating foods with apple cider vinegar and things like that on them. And these tend to be old wives' tales, and when they're actually researched, they don't really bear fruit. Um, however, there's been a lot of research done in this field, and they have been able to find out a lot of the actual things that, that genuinely do feed into these things. Some of them are related to the individual, um, whereas a lot of it tends to be related to the skin microbiome. The skin microbiome is, is really quite important because it varies between individuals. It can have a geographical um, bias, so dependent on where you're from and the, the lifestyle that you lead, this can also influence it. But it also um, almost certainly has a genetic component, so something related to your immune system um, can vary the actual um, prevalence of certain of these uh, skin microbiome organisms, so bacteria and fungi, which changes the actual bouquet of odors that you give off and that the mosquitoes can detect and can base their choices upon that.